Do you feel lost in the force of music theory? Unable to navigate your way through keys, chords, and scales? In my youth, knowledge eluded me. The fretboard an unsolvable equation. Adrift in darkness, I soared with random pentatonic scales. Dudes cringed and women were horrified. Desperately looking for answers, I began to study music theory. Enthralled by its secret power, soloing keys, intervals, and difficult songs suddenly made sense. In this video, you'll be presented with the ultimate music theory crash course. Step out of the darkness and into the light of music theory. I'm Shredmaster Scott, your music theory guy. Now let's get to it. The first topic to tackle in music theory is intervals, which is simply the distance between two notes. Memorize each one so that you learn to recognize them in the music that you hear. Intervals are often associated with popular songs like the minor second and Jaws. Next up we have scales. Scales are simply a series of intervals that connect an octave. Here's the A major scale. It contains seven notes and is one of the cornerstones of Western music. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. And let's not forget the rock guitarist's favorite, the pentatonic scale. Penta meaning five notes, which is how many babes you'll get. Let's talk about some quick chord theory. To make a major triad, you play the first, third, and fifth degrees. We're in the key of C, starting here on C. So that's the root. To find the third, go up three notes, one, two, three. And the fifth is five notes from the first note. C is here, C, D, E, F, G, one, two, three, four, five. Put them all together, and you have C major. To make it minor, you flat the third degree, which is here. Take it down a half step, and now it's sad, and you want to cry. Oh, so sad. Something that's very often overlooked is keys, represented by the circle of fifths. This basically tells you what notes are in what key. Kill yourself. There's a different number of sharps or flats depending on the scale that you're playing in. Become the ultimate music theory badass by memorizing the number of sharps and flats in each key. For those of you interested in advanced music theory, check out seventh chords. Instead of the three notes we find in a triad, seventh chords contain four notes. Root, third, fifth, and seventh degree. One of the most frequent questions I get asked is, what is a mode? A mode is simply a scale, each one with a unique sound. Let's have a look at the B Dorian mode. The Dorian mode is a favorite with rock bands like Pink Floyd. The primary chords in B Dorian are B minor to E major, represented by the formula minor one to major four. Now, I want to know, what do you think about music theory? Is it really necessary to become a great guitarist and musician? Drop your answers in the comments below. On a personal note, I've found music theory to be extremely helpful. Instead of hunting around for the sounds I want, I'm able to go directly to them. But perhaps your experience has been different. I hope you get at least 19.5 babes from your music theory study. <laughs> I just love a good pussy, don't you? Pussy, 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 pussy. Death pussy power. Nuclear pussy holocaust.